getting the same. Okay. It's on. This solar panel factory in southern India, which mass produces silicon crystalline panels and thin film solar sheets, is part of an ambitious national mission in India to drastically boost solar energy capacity over the next 12 years. HHV Solar operates this 40 megawatt plant located in the outskirts of Bangalore, India, a high-tech city that has become a hub for the solar industry. Few countries are as well endowed to go solar like India, where the sun shines on average 300 days of the year. That's more than enough to cover its current shortfall of energy. From virtually nothing a few years ago, India aims to generate 20,000 megawatts by the year 2022. This is going to put in a big demand on Indian producers uh, to enhance their productivity, enhance their capability, their technology to produce better photovoltaic modules. Most of HHV's solar panels are exported but the company aims to become a major player here at home. We do have a dream that we would get into about 500 megawatts of capacity. Indian solar companies like HHV are also developing their own cutting edge, high efficiency solar systems. This is the place where new technology is born. For the far flung rural regions of India, solar panels are more than just a cool technology or a green solution, they're a necessity. 10 to 12 hour long blackouts are common in this village of silkworm farmers 70 kilometers or about 50 miles outside Bangalore. Here, dozens of families have installed rooftop solar panels with the help of bank loans. Us farmers decided to go with solar panels because it would help us grow silkworms even when the power's out. Alternative energy used to light the dark rooms where silkworms feed on mulberry leaves has paid off already. Production is up because solar keeps the worms cool, unlike traditional kerosene lamps. My solar panel produces 120 watt hours per day, enough to power four lights for three hours daily. Worms are happier and so are students. More homework gets done because solar keeps the lights on for neighborhood kids. Bangalore-based company Orb Energy installs solar systems for farmers as well as urban residents. Even in cities, there will be around three to four hours per, per day. We are totally busy in uh, getting the orders from the customers and installation. Solar is starting to make inroads in urban areas as well. Get the minimum speed there. Pradeep Bayangar installed a 24-panel system for his Bangalore home after being fed up with constant blackouts. We needed some way of lighting up the house, and the cleanest source of power was that of solar. Iyengar's solar installation generates enough electricity each day so he doesn't have to rely on conventional energy sources. This house currently supports itself purely on solar power. To relieve demands on the conventional power grid, the state mandates that all new apartment complexes, like this one in suburban Bangalore, install solar. This is a 12.5 kilowatt system and uh, this is a very big system, in fact, uh, what we have installed. A very big battery bank will be there. Some say India's goal of generating 20,000 megawatts by the next decade is unrealistic. Hurdles such as land acquisition and public funding for new technology must be conquered if solar energy is to truly become the game-changing power source Indians are counting on. Sonia Narang, Asia Biz Forecast, Bangalore, India.